P.J. Ransford, the runner-up in the 16.50 tonight. Uh, for freshman at Michigan, and he was swimming out in lane eight and took the race out and had a huge lead. Ends up getting second, but a really gutsy race nonetheless. P.J., let's just talk about this one a little bit. Did you? Well, what was your strategy going in? Did you have a plan of really taking it to those guys, that second 500? Well, uh, I swam at Big Tens. I had a pretty, pretty bad race at Big Tens. So my coach had been telling me, like, the first 300 – you don't try, like, go slow the first 300 intentionally. So I, my first 300 was about five seconds slower than it was at Big Tens, which is, like, a lot, five seconds. Uh, but then, like, because I did that, the rest of my race was so good, and, like, my second 500 was just as fast as my first, which mm -hmm. I, I've never done anything like that. I usually take it out hard and try and hold on. So it was great to, great to do that and great that I worked. Did you have a plan to step it up at that point? Yeah, my coach said the first 300 has to be easy, and then after that, the, four, the fourth 100 can be fast. So my fourth 100 was actually like a second and a half faster than my first three. So oh, what, was, I listened. Was that Josh telling you that? Yeah, yeah. Josh knows what he's talking about, I, and I'm glad I took his advice. Did you know where you were during the race? Because you could see in. They couldn't probably see you. Well, actually, I like, I mean... I didn't realize I was in the lead until about like the 600 and I was like, wait, I think I'm like winning, which was like kind of cool because I was just going in trying to beat as many people as I could and like score some points, yeah. like eighth seed, not really, I wasn't expecting that. I was just trying to get a best time and score some points for my team. Playing with house money. <laughs> so let's talk about what you could see during the race because you, you take the lead between the five and the 600 and then you really pulled away for a while. When did... Could you tell that you were out by so much? And when could you see Koski kind of reeling you back in? I mean, I could... He was the, like, the only... He was as far over I could see. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, that's why, I, like, I didn't know I was winning until, like, I guess I passed him. And, I mean, I, I just... If you, like, look at the splits, I kind of held the same pace from, like, the 400 on. And then towards the end, it started to hurt a lot. That's when he started to reel me back in. Well, when you uh, when you, you were oh, 16 strokes uh, for the first thousand yards uh, per uh, per length, and then it's, it's when you got it to gut check time, you seemed to you moved up to 17. It looked like your kick had accelerated mm -hmm. some. Um, was there something inside you saying this is starting to hurt and uh, I need to go? And did you think you could hold him off? Um, well, I mean. It was just like, I mean, I just kept thinking about like all the practice we do and like I got this, I can, I can try and hold on. And being in lane eight, it was so great. I was right next to my team, so I would breathe to my right and I saw everyone banging on the banner. They were banging on the banner. it fired me up and I think if I had been in lane one, it would have been a different story, the last 300, for sure. Could you hear them or you could just see them banging on oh, the banner? Oh, I could hear them. They were loud. <laughs> and that, that, that whole race, is you're, you're coming down the end, you're starting to get caught. Could you could, could you, you kind of know though that you were doing a really really a, a big time drop? Um, I had no idea what the time was going to be until I turned around. I some guys in this meet have been doing awesome, others have been struggling a little bit. I had no idea what the time was going to be until I turned around. And I, when I saw that I had gotten best time, I was just so happy. Yeah, cool. quite a reaction after the race. You, you mean you clearly were really excited. Did, did, did the fact that did get second though did that take anything away or were you still just that excited to be there and to have gone drop 15 seconds from I mean, big tens coming in seating eighth yeah. and like getting second was it was awesome i mean and then for celebrating like i was just trying to fire everyone else that we had some big we had some other big races tonight and i was just trying to get people going start off the team right yeah and it looks like looks like you've done that wolverine's pretty solidly in third place right now your first year come into a really story program how does it feel to be you know the third best team in the country feels pretty good feels pretty good uh, that was actually our, our team goal coming in was to get top three so it's nice to be able to do that all right well thanks PJ appreciate your time thank you thanks PJ